ALS researchers and doctors are making great progress in identifying medicine that may slow or eventually even stop ALS. The Project ALS Jennifer Estes Laboratory for Stem Cell Research is a big reason why. Opened in 2006 in New York City, the Jennifer Estes Lab is the world's first and only privately funded venture to focus exclusively on stem cells and ALS. Jennifer Estes first asked the question about stem cells and ALS in 1997, when at age 35, she had just been diagnosed with the disease. I was this young New York hip lady going to Equinox, <laughs> and I was told that nothing could be done for me. I was, excuse me, I don't find that acceptable. She asked her neurologist why he couldn't replace her damaged motor neurons with new ones. Project ALS early on believed that stem cells, that is cells capable of becoming any cell type in the body, held that type of promise. The Project ALS lab was set up really to introduce the revolution of stem cells into the field of research in ALS. Having human stem cells that we can make into motor neurons, which are the cells which are lost, means that we can test drugs, we can study disease mechanisms, and just better understand the disease as it happens in human cells. Initial results were so promising that Project ALS opened the Estes lab. It was almost visionary that they decided to set up the lab at the time when they did because it put them on a fast track to find new therapies for the disease. Then, in a breakthrough led by the Project ALS lab, the first ever stem cell models of human ALS were generated. These stem cell models, known as ALS in a dish, were derived from tiny skin samples taken from ALS patients. In 2008, Time Magazine named ALS in a dish the scientific breakthrough of the year. Today, researchers around the world are using ALS in a dish and other stem cell tools to learn about ALS and screen for drugs that will help stop it. The Project ALS Lab has shared its stem cell findings with the world. It has also provided a proving ground for the next generation of scientists. The lab gave young scientists a chance to put their minds to the task of understanding ALS. We're very proud of the people who have sort of graduated from the stem cell lab and have launched really impressive careers of their own. The Project ALS Jennifer Estes Lab for Stem Cell Research has fulfilled its promise and done its job. It has inspired the most promising Project ALS researchers, drug companies, donors, and everyone who has a friend or loved one with ALS. Jennifer Estes and the lab created in her name will inspire our best efforts and imaginations to continue the fight until ALS is cured.